As part of regional weed surveys being conducted across cotton farming systems, we're starting to see the emergence of several weed species that are going to be problematic in the next few seasons. High levels of resistance have been reported mainly in the grasses, windmill grass, feathertop roads grass and ornless barnyard grass. It needs a whole of system approach to, to managing those weeds, not just in the cotton crop, but in the fallow with a number of different tactics or tools and not relying solely on glyphosate. Glyphosate is a a once in a lifetime herbicide. We need to make sure that in our system it is there for the long term. At the moment we're seeing increasing levels of glyphosate resistance so we need to attack our weeds with several non-glyphosate tactics and that might be herbicides, other options, modes of action or preferably non-herbicide control tactics. Now that could be as simple as a targeted tillage, a heavy graze if you're in a a rotation where there's, there's livestock in the system, but taking the pressure off glyphosate and not only in the crop but also in our non-field areas will ensure that we have this herbicide for the next generation of, of farmers. Our role with the weed survey is to inform growers what opportunities there are aside from glyphosate to control weeds in their farming system, not just focusing in the crop because by and large cotton crops have been and continue to be quite clean, glyphosate is working, but we need to ensure that that is going to happen for the next 10 to 15 years. We can't rely on new stack traits or new herbicides to be the control options. We need to look at other alternatives to glyphosate to control weeds in our cotton farming systems.